All right, I I think this might be the last video I I do on this subject. What's up, guys? HBO, the commentators equal propaganda and bias towards cash cows and boxing, like Manny Pacquiao, for example, or like Oscar De La Hoya, for example. HBO will always be biased towards cash cows, like 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 a Canelo Alvarez, like a Julio Cesar Chavez, those types of fighters. HBO will always be biased towards them. Understand HBO commentary equals biased propaganda. And when, what, how do I support that? Well, consider, other than Floyd Mayweather Jr., the only other developed cash cow in boxing, HBO's sort of second child, is Manny Pacquiao. And uh, Manny Pacquiao makes HBO the most money when he fights and when he wins. Other than Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao is the one that makes HBO the most money. So you see, even when Manny Pacquiao might be losing, the commentators have a financial incentive that, that comes down from their company because they represent HBO. They have to portray the fight as, as, as their fighter is winning or else, or else... Pacquiao loses stock. You see, when Manny Pacquiao's stock goes down, HBO's stock goes down. You see, because since HBO makes so much money off Pacquiao, they need Pacquiao to keep winning. Unlike Bob Arum, because Bob Arum has the winner and the loser. So he has Pacquiao and he has Timothy Bradley. So Bob Arum doesn't care. HBO has the right to care because... uh. They they don't see Timothy Bradley as a big draw, but they do see Manny Pacquiao, so they have to favor Manny Pacquiao. Make sense? HBO commentary always favors fighters who will take bigger risks and be in entertaining action fights. And Manny Pacquiao, if you know what his style, his fighting style is like, it's an action fight style. It's it's a fight of the year type style. When Manny Pacquiao was in his prime. Fighting guys like Eric Morales, fighting guys like uh, Juan Manuel Marquez early in, in his career, or you know in, in the middle of his career, those were action fights. Those were fight of the year candidates, and you know HBO will give you more credit for that because you're bringing in more fans for having great fights, much like other fighters who HBO has televised, like Arturo Gatti like Juan Diaz and like Oscar De La Hoya 